Well, hello everyone. This is my first uh, video about Linux. Um, I am a Linux user from 2010 and uh, after a year of uh, uh, my use of Linux, um, I became 100% Linux user. Um, like I still have Windows in my virtual machine. Sometimes I need to check uh, just some software which doesn't run on Linux, but it's not that I just have to use it. It's just like an optional or, or learning purposes. Uh, but I use Linux for everything. I use Linux at home, I use Linux at work, I even install Linux on my parents and my wife's computer. So I, I consider myself an average Linux who is quite familiar, an average user who is quite familiar with Linux. Um, and today for my first video, I just would like to make a quick overview of my home uh, Linux distribution, which is Arch Linux. Um, uh, I don't believe there is the best Linux distribution. But I think there are several very good distribution, Linux distributions which ha have uh, their purposes. Um, uh, and I think Arch Linux is probably the best um, Linux uh, distribution to learn about Linux and to, to familiarize yourself with the latest uh, software. It's very lightweight, so because I built it from the ground, I use I installed it using Archway, like from the command line, and I installed everything, what I need and nothing else. That's why it's very responsive, it's very fast, and if you don't overload it, I think Arch Linux is very stable as well. I've been using this system from uh, like maybe 10, a little bit more. It's not a year yet, I installed it last February or January, I don't remember exactly, but I had almost zero issue with it since that time. So, and as you can see here, I use KDE Plasma 5.8.5, which is the latest available for today. It's been released like a couple of days ago, and I already have it on my Arch system. That's why I like Arch, because you, you get the latest and the greatest. Uh, and it's uh, quite lightweight. Uh, as you can see, it uses 700 uh, megabits here. Well, obviously, it's because I have some application open. So, as you can see, I have simple screen recorder, Dropbox and golden dig they take some memory if i just had it clean start it would be around 400 megabits i disagree with people who say that kde is too complex and too heavy i don't believe it's very heavy it's been quite heavy when it was version 3 and version 4 is also a little bit um, heavier than plasma 5 but um, i think version 4 is also quite good uh, i still use uh, kde for my uh, work computer and i think it's also a very great uh, environment um, yeah so let me just give you a quick overlook of my um, home uh, um, KDE Plasma 5 layout. I use it like this way, as you can see. At the bottom, I have a quick uh, start panel. So here I have all the application I use most frequently. So I can quickly start whatever I need. Like for example, if I need Kate, I can quickly start it here. Um, yeah, to the right, I have some widgets which uh, help me to monitor my system, CPU monitor, memory status, hard disk space usage, network monitor, and input output of my um, uh, hard drives. Uh, at the top right corner, it's a system tray with some widgets, it's a redshift here. Uh, it's very similar to Unity and many people would say why don't you use Unity, but I don't agree it's uh, like it is similar to Unity, but it's a bit different. For example, I have a clear panel here and that's what I like the most because it's clean here. I can see which application I have open and it's way better than just having many icons here and then you have to navigate between them and you need to move mouse a lot to um, to change different applications, but here I can quickly access them because they're always at the top. I have two workspaces. I usually use four workspaces for my work production, but at home I use two. It's just one workspace for work and one for leisure. I have some media started here and then some application which I need to use for work, for example, when I work from home. Uh, yeah, then I have a desktop, uh, show desktop app. So basically what it does, it just uh, help me to minimize all the applications and then show them again. Well, clock with a calendar here. Um, I use this uh, menu style. I think it's uh, the best because, because I can quickly navigate between the various applications. I rarely navigate by mouse here. I would um, often just um, use a quick search bar and then start it. Uh, uh, you can, I can also use um, Alt F2 quick uh, search here, as you can see, but um, I don't know, 
I just prefer to use menu. It's uh, way faster. I can just uh, press super key and get uh, quick access. For example, if I want to, to use system monitor, I can open it uh, very quickly. Um, yeah, so this is the general layout. I also use quick uh, terminal, which is Yakuyak here. I like it because it's very fast. I just press F12 and I can get it. When it loses focus, it disappears. So I can open it. I can have uh, uh, many tabs here. I can also use a split view if I need, for example, like here. Then I can split it even more. Yeah, so this is, um, I think, the most convenient desktop layout. Um, I can also use Alt Tab sometimes to switch between applications, but um, I, I think I'm a mouse person. I use keyboard for some application, but not for all, and I'm more kind of mouse person. I customize Dolphin a little bit. Uh, as you can see here, I have uh, various view uh, options here. I can also have um, uh, to show hidden uh, icons uh, with this icon preview uh, delete uh, create new folder quite good uh, access and then i have create many tabs i can also press f3 to get split view and i think dolphin probably is the most powerful and the most customizable file manager i can start terminal whenever i need and whatever i need yeah this is a quicker overview of my uh, home operation system, which is Arch Linux. I also use Debian Testing XFCE on my laptop. I use Linux Mint 17.3 with KDE 4 on my uh, work computer. Uh, and uh, I installed uh, elementary OS on my wife's laptop. Um, and for my parents, I installed Linux Mint XFCE 18. So I think uh, in my next video, I'm gonna make overview of all those systems I use and I'm gonna explain why I use them. And uh, this is a quick overview of my, my Arch Linux distribution, which I use on my home computer. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how exactly my channel will develop uh, from this point, but this is the first video. Uh, please subscribe and I think you're gonna get some updates uh, quite quickly. Maybe. I'm gonna do a bit deeper review of my Linux, Arch Linux system and how exactly I can configure it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.